I know that if I had only seen the clip that you saw, I'd be extremely angry with me too. I am mortified, I am embarrassed, and I am very angry. Uh, unbeknownst to me, my network put up a clip from a very wide-ranging interview, um, totally taken out of context, and when you see it that way, it's very jarring. It's jarring to me. I didn't even know anything about it. I started getting calls. What the hell are you doing? Why did you say this? What is happening? I did not know what people are talking about. So I've been told, or I've been advised, to say nothing. Just let it go. People will drag you. People will troll you. It'll be over in a couple of days. But that's not good enough for me. Because I really want people to understand what happened here and, and how I'm feeling about it. I reached out to Lisa because I know that she's a longtime friend of Kobe's to talk about his legacy and their friendship. We had a really wide-ranging interview. Talked about many things. His career, his passion, his sense of humor, the way he was mentoring other people, how he was starting his next chapter. It was wide-ranging. And yes, we talked about that court case because that court case has also come up. And I wanted to get Lisa's take on it as a friend who knew him well, what she thought where that should stand. And I thought she, it was very powerful when she looked me in the eye as a member of the media to say it's time for the media to leave it alone and to back off. During the course of the interview, I asked follow-up questions because I wanted to make sure that her position and perspective were very clear. And at the end when she said it's time for to leave it alone, I, as I said, I thought that was powerful. And I insisted, I insisted that that part be in the interview because I thought that it put a nice button on that part of the conversation. Um, when the interview aired, we got a great reaction to it. Um, I talked to Lisa last night. I believe that Lisa was okay with the interview. And I felt really good about the interview. Really good about the interview. So for the network to take the most... Uh, salacious part when taken out of context and put it up online for people who didn't see the whole interview is very upsetting to me and that's something I'm going to have to deal with with them uh, and we will there will be a very uh, intense discussion about that I also want to say this I have um, been with Kobe Bryant on many social occasions uh, he was very kind and very warm to me, and I felt that we had a friendly relationship. I, too, am mourning his loss, just like everybody else. I still am shocked by it. It's tragic and untimely, and the last thing I would want to do is disparage him at this particular time. And I, I, I hope people understand that. And that's why I'm taking this time to speak to you directly. I've never done one of these before. I didn't even... I, I've never done one of these before, but this was so important to me that I felt I had to say something. I don't want to sit up on a set and read a prepared remark. Uh, I wanted you to hear exactly where I'm coming from and how I'm feeling. And to let everybody know that no disrespect intended. And now I've got to go to work. Uh, I thank you for listening.